गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन हैव यू ऑल सो लेट अस लर्न अबाउट रोमन न्यूमरल्स टूडे यू ऑल नो हाउ टू राइट नंबर्स यू ऑल नो इंग्लिश एल्फाबेट्स नाउ हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू थिंग टूडे एंड दैट इज रोमन न्यूमरल्स नाउ वॉट आर रोमन न्यूमरल्स रोमन न्यूमरल्स आर रिटन using the letters of the english alphabet means here you can see that we have some of the roman numerals and we are using in english alphabets to write those numbers like how to write one so one is representing by i this you have to learn all these english alphabets five is representing by v 10 is x 50 is l 100 is c 500 is d 1000 is m so just speak it out with me we have to learn this we we should know that how to write the number in a roman numeral means which alphabet is representing the number so one is written as i five is written as v 10 is x 50 is l 100 is c 500 is d and 1000 is m now here you can see that we have a picture in which this man is asking from the soldier now what is he asking let us see hey soldier what time is it so what does he replied he replied in roman numerals now to read this time we should know that what are roman numerals and except these numbers what are the rules to write the roman numerals so let us see quickly after these alphabets how many alphabets are there seven only seven alphabets are there in roman numerals each number will be written with the help of these alphabets only okay so let us see what are the rules there are four basic principles for reading and writing no roman numerals let us read a letter repeats its value that many times like c here we need to write 30 so for 30 what we have done we have written 10 three times because 10 is representing by x now to write 30 we have written 10 plus 10 plus 10 so we will write x three times similarly we have an another example in which we have written cc cc means 100 plus 100 that is 200 and you have to keep one thing in mind that the letter can be repeated maximum 3 times we cannot write x 4 times to write 40 we have different alphabets to represent 40 that i'll tell you in your further classes okay so here you have to keep in your mind that a letter can be repeated maximum 3 times and v l and d cannot be repeated we will not repeat these three alphabets that are v l and d so while writing roman numerals you have to keep all these things in your minds so let us move to the second principle now and that is if a letter of smaller value is written after a letter of greater value 
then we add the value of the two letters if now you all know that one is representing by i 10 is representing by x now what does does this property imply if we have if we are uh, if we have the letter of smaller value after the greater one so what we will do we will add all the numbers to get the value of that numbers like here you can see x is 10 and i i that is 1 plus 1 so total 12 means to write 12 we have to write x i i that is 12 now in another example we have l 1 1 you can see that x is 10 and l is 50 these are written on the which side before the smaller letters that that's why we are adding it right so here 50 because l is 50 and i plus i 50 plus 1 plus 1 that is 52 means to write 52 we need l 1 1 okay and another example is l x x now l is 50 x is 10 and again x is 10 so just add all these three like 50 plus 10 plus 10 that is 70 and in the last example we have m c c m is 1000 plus c is 100 and c is again 100 so your answer is total in total your answer is 1200 you can see that all these alphabets are being taken from these seven alphabets only so you just need to learn these basic rules as well as these seven alphabets okay so let us move towards our third property and that is if a letter of smaller value is written before a letter of greater value now this rule is just opposite from the previous one in this what we were doing we were taking smaller number on the right side smaller alphabet after the greater one but in this we have the smaller value that is written before a letter of greater value so in this case what we will do we will subtract the value of the smaller letter from the value of the larger letter in previous point we were adding and now we, we will subtract because now smaller value is written before a letter of greater value means here we have 1 i and x that i is representing 1 and x is our 10 so what will be the value 10 minus 1 that is 9 now after this you will be able to read this soldier's answer also when that man asked hey soldier what time is it then he replied 9 to 9 okay so in this second example we have iv now again smaller value is written before the greater one so 5 minus 1 is 4 similarly xc is 100 minus 10 that is 90 and cm is 1000 minus 100 that is 9 100 i hope this is clear to everyone and now let's move towards our next and last rule last basic rule so now while expressing numbers greater than 10 the numbers must first be broken into tens and ones now if you are expressing the numbers that are greater than 10 so what we will you will do the numbers must first be broken into tens and ones like how here you have 14 now what you will do how you will write now 14 is 10 plus 4 right we see we have different ways to write the number now 14 is 10 plus 4 if we will break it into 10 and 1s so 
how you will write 10 is x and 4 is 1 v similar similarly here it is written 5 minus 1 that is also equal to 4 so you just need to break the number in ones and tens if it is greater than 10 in another example we have 18 right so in 18 what we will do we will write 10 plus 8 10 is x and 8 is v triple i 8 means 5 plus 3 so 5 is v and to write 3 we will write 1 3 times so just go through with these rules learn these 7 alphabets that are representing roman numerals keep these rules in your minds and attempt this exercise that i am sending in this you can see that you have a question in which all the numbers are greater than 10 so first you all have to need you all need to just break down these numbers in ones and tens and then keep these basic rules in your mind and these seven alphabets thank you